Hello YouTubers. Today I thought I'd uh, show off my unique uh, battery box that I built with uh, automatic ventilation. First of all I'll show you the battery box. I built it uh, big enough to put in 10 GC2 golf cart 6 volt batteries. All I can afford right now is the 4. But uh, a note, notice here we've got uh, ventilation going out, which is which is a dryer vent hose, kind of just something I found laying around. It's not the it's a flexible hose, the same size as a dryer vent. Got a dryer vent vent on the outside, and I just poked the hose through and mounted a CPU cooling fan on there and the wire from that runs up to this charge controller which is my first charge controller I bought and I don't use it now so I'm got to run up to that there and uh, the charge controller has wire positive negative going right to my battery bank. So let's see if we can zoom in on this. So I'm going to show you how I got this set up. So what I got set up is that the load for this will turn on at 13.8 volts. So that means when my battery bank gets up to 13.8 volts, it's going to turn on the fan and the fan exhausts the air out inside the box outside the house. When the voltage drops down to 13.5, it actually turns the fan off. So the fan's not running unless the voltage gets up to 13.8 or higher. Which is pretty cool because I think it's the, they say that uh, that acid battery start off gassing at about 14 volts, I believe, somewhere around there. So I got it coming on just a little bit before it starts gassing and it'll stay like when I'm in a boost charge or equalized charge it'll stay on, the fan will stay on until the voltage drops down to 13.5 and it works really nice. Very happy with that. So just thought I'd share that with you guys. My automatic ventilation system for my battery box.